energy in StarMade. All factories, all weapon systems and most other systems use energy. No energy, no function. The block that produces energy is called power reactor module. The block that stores energy is called power capacitor. A ship core by default generates one energy every second and can store 50,000 energy. Thus, it's a very compact energy storage device. That said, small ships don't really need power capacitors. The power reactor modules produce about 140 energy per second each when separated. They can store, the power capacitors can store 1000 energy per block if separated. And we get a bonus if they are together. Later on in the game for making advanced stuff you might want to use the power supply computers and modules to move energy to another structure. But that we will not do now. Placing power capacitors is rather simple. They should be connected in some way in a long structure and they will get this little bonus that we were talking about before. So you see now we have 62,000 power and if we would remove this block and place it here you can see we are down at 61,900 so we get off with that little bonus if these two parts are unconnected. About the power reactor modules it's actually matter how you place them. Here we have a rod of 9 long and if we press here we can see that it generates 1279 every second. But if we go on to this structure, which is also 9 blocks but separated, it generates 1267. So, if this is 9 long or more, uh, it's better to have them in a long rod. But if they are less than 9 long, so we remove one block from each and it will be 8 block on both. Then we can suddenly see here that this 8 long rod produces 1097, while this separated produces 1126. So, 9 or more long rods, or you can have separated if it's less than 9 long if you're making a smaller ship, for example, to have the most power available. For a little bigger ships, like we can see here, here we have a really long rod. But if you're making a bit more fat ship and can't have that space all over the place, then you actually can make them in this shape, in three axes. This is the exact amount of blocks but parted in three axes and this generates exactly as much as this long rod, but it's in a more box shape. We could even turn this up, we move these two blocks upwards here and we still get the same result. But if we would disconnect them from this joint, you can see that the power drops to 600, 6700. So keep them in a continuous movement like this, in either three axes or less, or a long rod. It is the same result. And I think that will conclude this compact energy tutorial and I hope that you have learned something new and useful. Dumedist Total Nerdy Channel officially out. See you in the next one.